My name is Lisa. I work while managing the household. I live with my husband, Noah, our daughter, Madison, and our son, Thomas. On this day. All right, everyone, how about we have some lunch? Yay, I am so hungry. Curry, curry. Dad, calm down a little. I decided to make butter chicken curry today. Well, that sounds like some fancy curry. It's a creamy curry made with yogurt. Wait, Thomas, you know what butter chicken curry is? Yep, I learned about it while helping mom earlier. Thomas helped me a lot, so it was really a big help. What? Madison wants to help by setting the table? Hey, no fair. I'm going to grab the forks and stuff. Oh, I already did that. Thomas helped out so much, it made me really happy. Hee <laughs> hee. But, Madison's supposed to be the big sister. Sorry, Madison. I was too busy playing rock, paper, scissors with you. But Madison is going to help clean up, right? Yes, Madison will do her best to help. Thank you, Madison. It makes me so happy that you're such a sweet girl. All right. Dad is going to wash the dishes with all his might, too. Then please do it together with Madison. Now, let's dig in. Wait. Why do Madison and I seem to be reacting differently? We always spent our days lively like this. On this day, we were at the park with my brother and his kids. Madison, Haruka, wait up. Come this way, to where the sound of my hands clapping. Madison, you are really fast. Need, that's because I always train with Dad. Wait up, wait. Madison, stop for a second. Uh, Madison? Thomas looks like- Thomas, if you're this tired, you won't be able to beat Dad. I don't really care about beating Dad. Madison, your goal is pretty big, huh? The kids are having so much fun. Yeah, but isn't Thomas on the verge of tears? This is my brother Vince and his daughter Haruka. The two of them are very close and often play with us like this. Then, Haruka came over to me. Look, look, Lisa. My dad got this for me. Oh, Haruka, is that a smartphone you have? Yeah. It's supposed to protect me. Since we both work, we thought it was best for her to have one. I'm going on a business trip next week too. I see. That makes sense. It must make you feel safer to have it, right, Haruka? Yeah, it lets us share her location and keep an eye on her, so it's been a lifesaver. That does sound reassuring. Maybe I should get one for my kids too. Just be sure to set rules and controls so they don't overuse the internet or play games too much. Is that the case for you too, Haruka? Yeah. So I can't play too many games. Playing games isn't bad, but it's a problem if it stops you from doing other things, right? Yes, I've heard that a million times already, I know. I was surprised that Haruka had a smartphone, but considering how often Vince travels for work, it seems like it's safer for her to have one. So, I decided. Haruka, would you like to exchange contact information with me? Sure, but... Why? I thought it would be good if you could reach me anytime in case you ever need help. Oh, thanks, Lisa. That makes me feel better too. Got it? Um, should we exchange phone numbers? Or line? Discord? Dis. What? Uh... Let's start with exchanging phone numbers. Wait, there's an app on here I don't recognize. And so, I exchanged contact information with Haruka. A week later, while I was preparing dinner, Huh? A call from Haruka? I wonder what's going on. Hello? Hello, Lisa. Haruka. What's wrong? Did something happen? Mom? Mom hasn't come home. What? Your mom, Fiorella, hasn't come home? Since when? When I woke up this morning, she was already gone. And she hasn't come back. She's been gone since this morning. What about your dad? Vince hasn't come home either? Dad's been on a business trip since yesterday. Oh, that's right. He mentioned that last week. So you've been home alone all this time? Yeah. I'm hungry. And my room is dark and scary. I see. Thank you for calling me, Haruka. You did really well. I'll come over right away, so just hang in there a little longer, okay? Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Haruka's voice over the phone sounded so weak and defeated that it broke my heart just listening to her. After hanging up, I immediately took my whole family to Haruka's house and brought her back to our home. A few days later, Fiorella returned home and... I'm home. Wait, Haruka, where are you? What? 
No way, Haruk is not here, what should I do? Well, she'll come back eventually. First, I need a beer. Are you kidding me? This is no time to be drinking a beer. Whoa, Vince, you are here. I thought you were on a business trip. Forget about me. What about Haruka? Why isn't she at home? Huh? She probably went to the park while I was out. You left Haruka home alone. Since when have you been out today? Um, around lunchtime, I think. You don't even remember the time. Why didn't you take her with you in the first place? Well, I was going somewhere crowded. So I thought Haruka might get tired. I was worried she might get lost, and I thought it would be safer for her to stay home. Safer? And now Haruka isn't even here. But she's probably just out playing. She'll be back any minute now. If you are so worried, let's go look for her together. She's probably at the nearby park. That's a lie. You didn't just go out today. We won't forgive you for making Haruka sad. What? Why are Madison and Thomas here? When Vince questioned her, Fiorella lied about only going out since lunchtime. But with Madison and Thomas revealing the truth and showing their anger, it's not just Madison and Thomas who are here. You've done something truly outrageous. What? Even you guys, Lisa. Why is everyone in my house? Because Haruka reached out to Lisa for help. Lisa came to pick her up right away and then contacted me. So I cut my business trip short and rushed over. What? Hold on, you and Haruka are overreacting. I just stepped out for a bit since lunchtime. Liar. I've been sharing location data with you and you haven't left the house all day. Ah, uh, I, I forgot my phone. Then how are you able to respond to my line messages? Um, well, that's because, ah. Uh, and you lied about going out today. No, I really did go out today. That's a lie. Haruka's been with us for several days already. What? Several days? Haruka was crying so much because her mom wasn't around. You left Haruka for days without a single message, completely neglecting her. You didn't worry about her at all while you were out, did you? Do you even care what happens to your own daughter? Of course I do. Well, maybe you do care about your kids a little bit. Which means you must have gone somewhere for days that made you forget about them, right? Must have been a really good time, huh? What? What are you saying? I would never forget about my kids. Then why did Haruka have to cry all alone? I'm sick of your excuses. Why don't you just tell us where you've been? I, I. Well, that's, um. Even after all that, Fiorella stubbornly refused to say where she had been. But then... The answer to that question is right here in this photo. She was having such a great time with her lover that she forgot about everything else. What? What are you talking about? Wait, is this a recent photo of me? How on earth do you have something like this? That's because I took it myself. Don't mess with me. Who even are you? The name's Oliver. Just a humble detective. Detective? D don't tell me, Vince, you've been suspicious of me. Vince wasn't the one who suspected your infidelity. That was me. Oliver here is my brother-in-law, so I asked him to look into it. What? You had someone investigate me. What's wrong with you? I think that's our line. Leaving your child at home to go on a trip with another man. That's beyond irresponsible. Heck, I don't need to hear that from a stalker like you. Then hear it from me. Are you even a mother anymore? Your sense of ethics, your priorities, everything about you is completely twisted. Stop talking like I'm some kind of lunatic. I have my reasons. Reasons? Don't be ridiculous. What kind of reason could possibly justify this? The one you should be protecting is Haruka, not your own self-interest. I can't believe you have the nerve to say something so absurd. Unbelievable. When I raised my voice in response to Fiorella's excuses. Duck, this is such a hassle. What did you say? Say that again. I'll say it as many times as I want. You're all such a pain. Yeah, that's right. I ditched the kids to meet up with a guy. So what's so wrong about that? Wah. Don't act so defiant. Everything about that is wrong. Don't you dare make that decision for me. I've been bottling up so much stress from being a stay-at-home mom. To keep up this happy family charade, I needed some way to blow off steam. So to you, family life is just some kind of make-believe game? Ha. Huh. Of course it is. I have to cater to my husband's moods, keep the kids happy. I've been putting on an act 24 by 7, trying to be a good wife and a good mother. If that's not make-believe, then what is it? You. Have you always felt this way? Ha. Did that shock you? 
Well, too bad. Every woman who stays at home feels this way. The fact that you couldn't see through my act means you have no right to lecture me. If you're so upset, maybe you should have figured out my true feelings before I started cheating. Don't be ridiculous. I've never had to act when it comes to my family. Doubt it, doubt it. You've probably made some sacrifices for your family game too. You're just pretending not to notice it. Face it. Deep down, you've got all kinds of messy feelings festering inside you. I'm telling you, I don't have anything like that. I always try to connect with my family heart to heart. Even when we don't see eye to eye, I've always tried to communicate and work things out. And where did that get you? What you're saying is just an idealistic fantasy. No matter how much you try to talk or connect, if it's not meant to walk, it won't walk. That's not true. In any relationship, you have to make an effort to meet each other halfway. You're the one who decided to stop making that effort. I'm telling you, meeting halfway doesn't solve anything. So why bother with something so pointless? It's not pointless, and that's exactly why we're saying it. You drew a line on your own and gave up. So don't act like you know everything. Shut up, shut up. There are people who just can't do that, but I still tried to do my best in my own way. The stress I have is the result of that. Why do I have to be attacked like this? What was I supposed to do? As Fiorella continued to shout without showing any remorse, suddenly. You just need to go all in and confront it head on without worrying about getting hurt. Wah. Who are you? I'm Noah's sister, Oliver's wife, and also the neighborhood police officer. What? Why is the police here? I need to have a little chat with you about Haruka. You're coming with me to the station. No way. Why should I have to go there? This is voluntary, right? It's not mandatory, is it? Yay, that's right. I can't force you to come. But don't think I'll give up just because you refuse. What? That's practically forcing me. This is illegal. I'll sue you. Fiorella, enough already. You know you've done something wrong, don't you? Shut up. You don't understand anything about how I feel. Enough with the whining already. Eek. What are you suddenly shouting about? You're just spouting whatever suits you to run away from the truth. Why don't you try to be more like Haruka, who waited for you, hungry and scared but still believing in you? Ha. Huh. That's completely unrelated. We're telling you to face reality, even if it's something you don't want to see. You've been acting like you're not at fault this whole time. So what? The only one on my side right now is me. I'm not going to fall for any of your tricks. All right, that's enough. We're done here. What are you talking about? I'm divorcing you, and I'm taking custody of Haruka. And I'm going to demand alimony from both you and your lover. Get ready. We have more than enough evidence. So you better start preparing yourself. You. How dare you make a fool of me. That's enough. As long as I'm here, I won't let any violence happen in front of me. What? Let go of me? Stop it. Haruka really loved Aunt Fiorella. Aunt Fiorella should have just trusted her because love for her mom. Change your ways, okay? Bye bye. Ick. How did it come to this? And so, Fiorella was taken to the station by Mia. After that, Vince consulted with a lawyer and divorced Fiorella, gaining custody of Haruka. He also demanded alimony from both Fiorella and her lover, and child support from Fiorella. Having spent her savings on her affair, Fiorella found herself in deep debt to cover these costs. Now alone, Fiorella finally realized how much Haruka meant to her and began trying to secretly meet with her. However, Mia caught her during one of these attempts and warned her that there wouldn't be a next time. Thus, Fiorella was left to live a lonely life, working tirelessly to pay off her debt while yearning for the daughter she couldn't see. As for my family. Ah, uh, Daddy Dragon is coming. Run away. Madison, wait up. Wait, how is everyone so fast? Waha, I'm going to eat up all the naughty kids. Everyone looks like they're having so much fun. Yeah. Noah seems to be enjoying himself the most. Yes, Noah always plays with everything he's got. It's great to see such friendships that cross age gaps. Run, run. When I catch you, I'm going to hug you like a plush toy. Puff, puff. Dad, that's not what you said before. Uh, help. A big man is chasing me. I'm Madison. That's not the best way to phrase it. What? He's saying scary stuff like eating us and cuddling us. Peruka, that actually sounds seriously bad. Oh, look, there's a police officer. Uh, shouldn't we be more concerned? No, it's not what it looks like. I was just playing with the kids, I swear. Thomas, 
Take it from here, okay? Again? Seriously? Wait, again. Your family sure has a lively daily life, huh, Lisa? Since then, we've continued living our usual days. With Vince's job, we often looked after Haruka at our house, and while Madison and Haruka were already close, they became even better friends. As a result, Noah has been mistaken for a suspicious person more frequently, but I just hope Haruka never pulls this kind of prank on Vince. And so, we continue to live our lively and happy days together. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.